Hello and welcome back to another episode of Xenonauts 2. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our beloved the blind playthrough on the hardest difficulty. It's time for another uh, crash site mission. The UFOs had been quite active but we were also relatively active in pushing them back. So the name of the game now is uh, Scavenging Another UFO. That will give us hopefully more money and with that we can buy new aircraft because that is our weakest part at the moment we're fighting against three ufos and we're just losing a lot of our aircraft so let's launch the combat team you can see two of the aircrafts currently need replacement skyhawk one is ready to rumble so might as well use our full kernel team I am desperately awaiting the option to deploy that bigger uh, deployment ship. That will be fun. But yeah, well, that's going to be a night mission because we can't wait that long. Let's jump right into it and give it a go. Right, landed and ready to go. Polly moves up. And we gotta put some lights into the darkness. One, two, and uh, three. Good, well, Polly is busy. Throwing light around. Widowmaker moves out. Takes a nice little step here. And we're good. Okay, well, fair enough. Daily G moves out to the G. Hunkers down. Heavy weapons on the other side. Moving it. And. We are. I'm going to take the little pistol here off into the brushes happy has a hundred movement now this is crazy 95 on shadow realm and i think we're good very slow first turn <laughs> single hit and the guy just went down lovely one hit one shot one hit one kill ghost weapons um, seem to be quite strong also the 15% extra damage oh oh yeah well Things are starting to improve. Someone somewhere has just shot an alien twice and hit twice because we heard uh, the alien screams. Uh, let's take away a little bit of the cover here. Mm. 
one there and one over there all right found an enemy can't hit him even with a sniper there are limits to all things including the ability to snipe but Tony can move up a bit too far away what we can do though is put out some more light there and there okay cool good enough for now shattered realm takes single shot misses Epi moves up, anchors down. Takes a single shot. Misses. Okay. Unfortunate. Jim. We'll keep an overwatch, so we're good. In the meantime, moving over here. Light up that area. No one there, okay. Light up that area. Solidly failed to do that. I think uh, that li a little bit of lighting just went straight into the trees. Widowmaker gets into position. And look, I mean, the G can also move up here. I tell you what, we're focusing on lighting up more. Okay, lots and lots of uh, lighting. That's the problem with night missions. You always need to fight for line of sight. Two enemies here. One ended here, a second one ended here. So they currently have their little sectored aim bonus, which I absolutely cannot allow to happen. Which means we need to remove the walls. There we go. Free line of sight. Pony, 100% shot. Okay, look at that. Aliens can still survive a single sniper shot. Interesting. More vision. And more vision. Happy moves up. Jim moves up. And look, Shattered Realm, after taking a shot, moves up as well. Because why not? Um, that's a large map.
figured that somebody would be back here. Moving up. The G. 100% shot. It's sectored in his stupid face. Before Widowmaker kills him. Alright, so we got a pretty decent overview about all of that area here. Moving up. Next time we're going to push in. The Gauss weapons are fantastic. I don't understand though why we are not killing them yet. I mean, well, it's 50, they could deal only 50% of their damage. Um, because we do have 70 damage oftentimes. 15% more would be 80%, uh, 80 damage, just base. Which means we're hitting for at least 40. That in itself is not good enough to kill aliens. But you injure them very nicely. Alright, Shattered moves up, and I think we need more Illumination. I would guess the UFO is here, it has been the last time. Happy moves up. Reload more explosives, we got four more. Tony as the sniper moves up and we're just going to stand there for now. Jim moves up, hunkers down and we're good. There's still a possibility that someone is in here. Unlikely though because no one really has died. Moving into cover, hunker down, turn around. All right. We need to get closer. Yeah, unfortunately that's not possible to go to here, but that would be a bit too risky. Instead, we're moving up. Good, end of turn. Just short check here, nothing in there. Okay, we're good. Taking a successful shot. And hunkering down. Okay, very nice. 
Where's our sniper? Unfortunately, a train is in the way. Shattered realm. Finds the angle, kills the guy. Maneuver moves up. And we're putting in more lights. Jim charges over. And we put in even more lights. All right, cool. End of the map. Quick double check. No one there. We're good. So it moves in and we got the G. Currently looking in this direction, just in case uh, someone was hiding in there. All right, individual sectors are coming forward. Not really something to be afraid of. Nice little salvo. And we got a nice hit. That was a mistake. But the G misses. What is happening? Dearly. Haven't trained you to become a super soldier just to miss. Another sniper shot, and this guy's just taking it like a boss. Wow. I am seriously impressed by the sheer utter determines of this guy, but everybody has their breaking point and his was just one shot away. Moving up, hunkering down. Good, we're quickly moving in. And here we go. Cool. End of turn. Oh, you thought you were extra smart, eh? Of course, our Grenadier takes damage again. Wow, almost goes down. That's not good. Uncle Nuber, like I said, potentially one of the guys with the single most damage that they have taken in their entire career. Gets healed up. 
takes an easy shot. And then moves out of line of sight. Okay, cool. One down. But there must be more. Yep, of course, there's always more. Flashbang. All right, here we go. We suppressed our own troop once again. Can the G do it? 41%. Hits, but doesn't take him out. Tony moves up. Shattered realm. Takes a single shot. And takes the guy down. Fantastic. Okay, we're pulling all of our reserve forces in. He's already suppressed, so might as well just wait so that we can have one overwood shot. A miss. <clears throat> Moving in. One shot. And we do not have enough ammunition. Shoot. Besides the fact that we shot our own soldier, and besides the fact that we might not uh, captured as many of them as possible, the rest was actually quite uh, okay. We gotta be careful with the plasma weapons though, they still hurt a lot. After action report, so... We still get the other uh, stats, but the ones that aren't maxed out, but you can see that our that our snipers are almost maxed out <clears throat> I wonder if we want to switch around some of the roles just to give them more on their other stats but I think Tony and uh, Dilly are actually all around very good already so I don't <clears throat> think that that is really needed Clearly accuracy is the highest, but 
if you just look at all of it. In terms of health, curiously enough, the guys that take the most damage in the front line have uh, the have very moderate health values. Whereas some of the guys that are further in the back do have 80 plus health, which by the way is a great value. Also the time units are just phenomenal. Yeah, new weapons overall a great success. Almost everything went down in a one shot. Good. What we, what we're seeing now is they do have a generator, they do have a radar. Shall we build a second, um, second laser battery there? I think the answer is yes. Hundred thirty-four. I think we're almost at two fifty, right? And two fifty is what one of these uh, things cost. Okay. So laser battery, only 200. Okay, fair enough. The idea mainly is to have enough defense so that a UFO attack will not wipe out the base because that would be costly. So, or maybe even putting a third battery in, but we would need more generators for now. and. To be honest, the majority of all of the funds that we're now generating will actually flow into new uh, airships. If we look at our engineering, we do have 500k um, for the Dragonfly, which I definitely would want to get. And then we do have the Phantom Interceptors, that's 500 grand a pop as well. So we're actually looking at 2 million just for these things, plus weapons. Unfortunately, our next funding is a while away. Fortunately, not much is happening, which allows us to pop our research. Heavy Ghost weapons. Fabulous. That's exactly what we need. So, Gauss Cannon for the vehicle, Gauss Auto Rifle, also good, Gauss Blaster and Gauss Battery Upgrade. Oh, let's double check what that means. So, we wanted more interrogations for better training. Well, that's going to happen next. Gauss Blaster, 500 grand. New weapon, more damage, all good. We have anything here? Accelerated machine gun, Gauss sniper rifle, Gauss rifle, Gauss shotgun, Gauss pistol, base upgrades, Gauss battery upgrade. Okay, cool. Upgrades all existing defense battery structures to Gauss battery. And a th uh, one million uh, to get a better radar. I like it, but for now I think we're just going to do the defense for two hundred grand. K 
can we afford that? Is the question. You know what? We're going to upgrade it once we do have enough uh, funds. For now, we're just going to let it slide. Alien base. The aliens have constructed an outpost on our planet, so although we don't know the exact purpose, we should attempt to destroy it as soon as possible. What are we talking about? Okay. Hmm. That sounds like an interesting mission. We need a grenadier for that. And I think JP Pauly sits this one out. Natalia comes in, that's good. And Nick Nick with his plenty of hit points will become the Grenadier. Still no upgrade for our still no upgrade uh, for our um, troop transport that will need to happen next month. So we're just going in with nine for now. Plasma rifle, good enough. You don't need more than that, Natalia. On the other hand, what I was thinking, if you want a stun baton, that's actually totally doable. Good. The one thing that I don't like is your light armor and that also clarifies whether or not you can wield an extra weapon the answer is no reflex is a hundred bravery a hundred wow shattered realm has massive stats love it working on his strength at the moment so let's give him a flashbang which is always helpful she's okay knick knack the party snack guardian armor yes please oh, definitely not a stupid weapon you're rather taking this one and I think that's pretty much it, because you can already see we're out of uh, strength. The rest of the team looks fine. We got a lot of armor on everyone. And since you guys are getting shot left and right, might as well give you a little bit more armor. No, it's all good. I think we're we're fine. I think we're fine. We have plenty of options in the engineering department. I think next uh, next month is really uh, going to be like focusing heavily on aircraft and aircraft weapons. So we're going to have that Gauss weapon, and then we're going to have a Dragonfly uh, dropship. 
and two phantom interceptors. That's already all of the money gone. We're also going to get our Gauss battery upgrades because that means we need to have less. We need to have less uh, defenses overall. How much is this going to do, uh, go for? Now we don't know what the boss does, but currently, if you look at uh, the defense strengths here, we're rocking 500. That's more hit points than any UFO has, but here we're only at 310 minimum. So a bit of an upgrade would be helpful. Yeah, and we potentially also need to plan for a few radar, ra radar relays. As and when time uh, permits. I think for now we do have a solid, a solid overall structure. We just need better aircraft to actually get UFOs down. With down UFOs we get more money and uh, things are going to be fine. But all of this is a matter of uh, the next missions. For now, we are ending today's episode uh, with an outlook on the alien base, which is going to happen the next time. Thanks for watching, guys, and if you want to send a spy into the alien base, uh, try to hover around that like button. That might be a secret entrance. Take care, and have a good one.